What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Dina. LGK since 1998. I'm checking out more of the baddest female, Queen CL, in this video today. I was pretty late to getting to her spicy. She got the sauce, and I'm like, cool. She's freaking still the queen trademark that she has always been. And then boom, she comes out with Lover Like Me. I've seen the thumbnail. I was like, I'm not gonna see any more teasers. I always just wanna be completely surprised positively by the one and only CL. And I really mean it when I say the one and only CL. I don't know, I've never, I've listened to Korean music since 1998. And I've been through here and there of a lot of artists. CL is definitely very, very one of a kind. I'm not just saying that she really is one of a kind. And I love the fact that even though times have changed and a lot of us, we have to adapt to the changes. She's adapting to it, but still keeping the trademark CL, the whole old school, the whole just era, style, and time that made her classic and still making it a classic. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and just shut up and get right with the Lover Like Me music video. So here we go. Quick pause. If y'all been enjoying the things that I've been doing here on my YouTube, please hit the thumbs up, skew button. That gives me a good idea on what y'all like and what y'all kind of like. Feel free to also subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay super updated with some new things. All right, let's get it. Ooh. Remember the last time you called me Jalen? Can't remember the last time you called me that name. Oh, you always shit. said that I would be the main thing. And now you're gonna switch lanes. Caught you out there. Oh, so funny. You come back running, running. Yeah, you miss my love. You miss my money. Look at this queen. Okay, this is so different. Oh, look at this old school edit. This is fresh. me like freaking turning my head so i'm gonna pause just because i do want to say like some commentary before i forget it the whole scene where her hair looks like it's grown out like rapunzel and it's all she's made something out of it i definitely could be looking into this too deeply but yes yeah, what music and music videos do to me so the lyrics were talking about how like you know i don't remember the last time you called me and like it's like kind of like i don't remember the last time you remembering me or you said that you always be there but you've moved forward it's like that kind of vibe. I feel like the whole hair growing out is representative of her, uh, how long it's been for her, whether it's like perspective from uh, whether she's speaking to a person who is in a relationship or she loved, or she could even be speaking about her just career overall because she's been in a game for quite some time. And you know, there's newer music and people are gravitating and moving, changing with the times, like how I mentioned in the beginning, you know? so. I feel like that long hair kind of represents that and then the fact that it's braided and beautiful is like just her like knowing how to make use of the time that she's been given. She... Okay, okay. Before I go on, let me just continue. But this is really funky, different. I love the fact that she's like showing even more of her vocal skills. Like Spicy definitely had the vocal skills, but it was like a lot of the really cool stuff. And this like makes me think back to how I felt when I first heard her song Five Star. Like, Hua was like the rapping, the cool, then Five Star was like the whole vocals. Spicy, coolness, coolness isn't everything that CL does, but I'm just talking about the accentuatedness. And then now, so far, this is like very vocal. Okay, okay, let me go back uh, five seconds. Yes! I think that you should go home. Yes! She sounds really good. Come back running, running. Yeah, you miss my love and you miss my money. I'll tell you something, something. I just gotta let you know. If you're gonna let me go, you will never ever find another love. Yes! Speak it! Oh. This is making me think of 
how I felt when I first saw her video lifted. Seriously. Okay, oh my god, I'm, I'm sweaty. Yeah, because right when it flashed into her, it looks like she's in like a one piece or it's just sexy, it's hot. So it made me feel like how I felt when I first saw her music video lifted, where she was like on the balcony, she was wearing like a, I think it was like a bikini set with this uh, baggy jacket on top from what I remember, baggy robe, something. But the way she was like all like doing body rolls in the beginning of that video, and I was like, I'm caught off guard. And I'm caught off guard with this scene. Everything is just so super CL. Oh my. oh my god, I don't know why guys, but this scene, her hair looks so freaking awesome. This scene makes me think of 21's uh, It Hurts music video, why? She She's still keeping the CL and she's still keeping the 21, she's so freaking iconic. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. This is so cool. Okay, I love this song. This song is just so groovy. Groovy with the strong vocals. And that whole scene of her dancing with the umbrella. Oh, she cut her hair. This is like one of those videos that you just have to watch more than at least 13 times for you to really see everything. See all the CL. Remember how I mentioned how what I love about CL a lot as an artist is the fact that she knows how to adapt with the new times, with new technology, just new things, but still keep the old school or just the trademark CL that makes her CL style. So I like that being portrayed with like the different kind of screens, like the whole different kind of technologies. Like you see like the old school edits, you see the new school sharp widescreen stuff, and then you see like the television, the television screens. Where back then the ratios were a lot more square versus now things are more wide. So I like all that different combinations to really, really portray and highlight who CL exactly is as an artist. Alright guys, well thank y'all so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope y'all have a great day, and until the next one coming up, peace.